what's up guys welcome back to welcome back to our channel um yes i'm still missing my other half but that's okay what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing uh, a reaction this is actually my uh, first reaction so forgive all mistakes and i'm kind of nervous i am going to be reacting to um queen Najee's um medicine not her official video um uh, not her music but the the thing the video that she did with um genius so i'm gonna be um reacting to that and i i just love this song i started watching queen's videos <clears throat> once you um like I actually started watching them just in December, and then all this stuff started happening. So, but then I fell, I fell in love with Queen and her personality. So yeah, so let's let's just get into this reaction. Let's get started because I'm talking too much. Some females out there might actually turn into savages, like just out here, like just curving things left and right and being a player, like do what guys do, like kind of like hit quick, you know. I mean, I feel like it's just double standards, man. Like, oh, why are you doing this? You're not supposed to be doing this. You're a lady. No, I'm going to be a savage just like you. I totally agree with that. Like, it's a double standard. Like, they, like dudes can do stuff and we can't do it. Why? Why? We can do just what y'all what y'all do. <laughs> So I'm going through like this, this tough, like situation in my marriage. Everybody was like pretty much asking me like, what's going on? Like, are you going to leave? Are you not going to leave? Like all this stuff, like a news reporter or something. I don't know. I just kind of like put all my pain into a song. You tell me you love me, but I ain't been feeling it lately. Say you love keeping me fly, but can keep me from looking so crazy. You love, you know, keeping your girl looking good, but you can't keep me from looking crazy, meaning embarrassed uh looking stupid like got people out here saying hey um is this your so-and-so you know i seen him with so-and-so and i'm just like coming at six in the morning why you been why you been who is that texting your phone just a friend just a friend okay if i'm sitting next to you and we on a couch or whatever for an example and like um somebody texts you and i see like some kind of Hard eye emojis or something like that. You try to turn your phone like this. I'm just like, hmm. Who are you texting? Don't you hate that? Like, I'm sitting right here. I see you. Like, what you doing? Like, that's so disrespectful to me. Like, go in the other room or something. Do something. But it, even if you're doing that, I don't even want to deal with you. Like, you can just go on. Bye. You can't show me. If you can't show me the messages... Yeah, that trust is like right there, it's broken. My intuition never lies. There's nothing you can never hide. Already got the screenshot, so there is no need to deny. I hear that a lot with, with women. Like, usually when you feel something in your gut, like, that's what's going on. I don't know why we have that. I don't know. But we know everything. Like, we find out everything. That's that woman's too intuition, I'm telling you. you there's nothing that beats in a woman's intuition. Some niggas better watch out. You be creeping and freaking and sneaking like you never lose me. Steady claiming that everyone know we together, but you steady choosing. Let me tell you a secret, okay? Well, I mean, I'm telling everybody now, but um, I used to do a lot of lurking, and I would, I would see like, you know how you could go look at posts you've liked. I would do that. I would look at posts that um people like, and it would be all a bunch of Instagram baddies like, and I'd be like. Oh, so that's what you like. So it makes me feel like I have to kind of like boss up a little more, step my game up. Like I have to compete. <laughs> Swear I cannot win for losing. I've been out here being faithful. I always got this on lockdown, but that ain't been keeping us stable. So I guess I know what I gotta do. Give you a taste of your own medicine. Hey, yeah. I feel like some people that you get with or that you're in a relationship with, they're not going to have the full 100% of what you need. You might be faithful. You might um, be nice and have a, a good heart. And you might be okay, like pretty. But this girl over here, you know, she, she got sex appeal. She got mad sex appeal. She got a big booty, long hair, like nice eyes. And so I feel like they go out and search for the lacking part of, you know, what they have. <laughs> 
How would you like it if I do the things you do? Put you on, do not disturb and entertain these dudes. I'm a ride, I'm crazy, and you never have a clue. Give another guy everything that belongs to you. I didn't do it. I didn't I didn't do it. But however, like when I did separate, I, I when I did separate from him, like I do have friends I talk to. That would mean I just go and I'm not out here just hoeing and slutting around though. So so you shouldn't you shouldn't go do what I said. Don't don't do that. I You might be lonely and you might talk to somebody, but just because I'm talking to somebody don't mean I'm sleeping with that person. And I, and thank you, Queen, for saying that because some people would take that, like, too hard. Like, yeah, or well, that's what she said to her song. That's what I'm about to do. No, sometimes people just, you know, that's just her way of expressing herself. Don't go do it. Don't change who you are because you were hurt. Don't do that. I'ma call up Brian, I'ma FaceTime Ryan, I'ma text Lorenzo, and I'ma leave you crying. I kind of got this concept from Tink. I'ma call Brian, FaceTime Ryan, uh, you know. Lorenzo just came out, out of nowhere. I was just like, wow, Lorenzo. I mean, wow. I mean, I like that name. I think that there's someone cute out there named Lorenzo, maybe. If your name Lorenzo, so I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, I can play this game too. How would you like it if I did the same to you, same to you, yeah? You don't like it, now you're telling me that I should fight it. Why you be out here playing the victim when I am the one who been crying? Why this shit out but can't take it? I want revenge, I can't fake it. Wanna see the look on your face when I drop my clothes and I get naked? Not for you, but for him. Now tell me, player, how does it make you feel? What kind of face do they make? I don't know, a very hurt face. Like, like, oh, like, they hold eyebrows and just go down like this. They face would be like this. Like, you know that emoji? Like the, that's the face they would make that be like, man, I can't believe it. Like, she, she just went to do all the dirt that I just did. She's so funny and goofy. But yeah, it's like people, like dudes, females, whatever, they can dish it out, but they can't take it. Like they want to do stuff to you, but then when you do it back to them, they don't know how to handle it. And I just think that's crazy. I'm like, you out here doing all this dirt, but then when somebody do it to you, you don't know how to handle it. You can't take it. Like that doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. If you can't dish it out, I mean, if you can't take it, don't dish it out. Because you, you might think you're doing something good, or you might, like, the way you're doing it, you might think you slick, but just as hard as you're doing it, somebody can come back and do it harder than you doing it, and then you might not like the way that person does it. So if you don't want to get played, don't play nobody. Wow, how could you play me when the love I gave was real? I even took you back and you still had no chill. I, I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. But I feel like once it comes like, re becomes like repetitive, like back to back to back, now you just taking advantage of me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You ain't gonna get no third time. Nope. You get one chance and that's it. You, if you mess up the second time, it's a wrap. Boy, you ain't gonna never learn. Play with fire, you get burned. I don't think you'll understand until it hits you where it hurts, yeah. So I guess I know what I gotta do. Give you a taste of your own medicine. Hey, yeah. I guess a lot of women can relate to it nowadays because I think it's just like to play around with people's hearts for some reason. The signs you should look for when you know somebody is like not in love with you anymore, like spending less time with you on their phone more, going out more, putting their phone down, like, you know, face down when you're at a restaurant. Everything that you do, even if you don't do anything, like, too big, they get irritated at it. It could be the smallest thing, and it just be like, oh, man, why is this and why is that? I'm like, you just don't like me anymore. All of those tears I cried, I can't count the lonely nights. Time and time again I try. So when I turn into a savage boy, don't ask me why. Ask me why. Don't ask me why. Give you a taste of your own medicine. I feel like getting revenge, like, makes you feel good. It just makes you feel good, and you get to see the other person, like, hurt. 
I mean, it just makes you feel good at the moment. But after a while, I mean, I don't know about other people. Maybe other people will still feel good later on in the long run. But in the long run, for me, I will feel bad. Even though that person hurt me and did me wrong, it's like, I'll be like, aww. That's real. After a while, after you get your revenge, um, you feel bad. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.